Wall Street awaits a higher open in midweek trade. The U.S. indices closed sharply lower in the previous session. After Tuesday's tumble, expect a rebound with gains seen in the tech sector. Geopolitical concerns remain as political developments in D.C. as well as Hurricane Irma continue to be monitored. Now, this morning's U.S. economic data showed the trade deficit rose to $43.7 billion in July from $43.5 billion in the prior month. We also get the Fed's speech book at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, looking at the previous session, 69% of S&P 500 constituents traded lower yesterday. Now, moving on to today's company news, Walmart kicked off its holiday layaway plan. The retailer hopes to boost its slowing toy, uh, toy sales. Under this program, customers can put down as little as 10 bucks and hold an item with a minimum sales price of 50 bucks. In other company news, Trivago tumbled over 20% before the open. The German hotel search platform cut its guidance saying earnings for Q3 and the full year would be lower than expected. And Voyager Therapeutics rallied nearly 50% of pre-market trade. This comes as the drug maker announced positive trial results for a treatment for Ben's Parkinson's disease. Looking at overseas markets, the Nikkei was down nearly 0.15%, Hang Seng off nearly half a percent, and South Korea's Kospi down nearly 0.3%. European indices are trading lower today. Now here in the U.S. for the S&P 500, limited upside is expected. Long positions above 24.54 are preferred, with targets standing at 24.65 and 24.70 and a half in extension. As for the Nasdaq, a further upside is expected, and for the Dow Industrials, a rebound is expected.